My school head coach, Steve Goff, thanks very much for joining us. How does two years or, or maybe even more time at My school College help a young rugby player with a future in the game or perhaps even a professional career in the game? Well, certainly with, um, with the college and the programme, the two-year programme, um, the ACE programme itself is, is based on elite performance levels and the RFU brought this programme in quite a few years ago which is based on really just uh, enhancing elite performance alongside education. So we've kind of embraced that with um, the, the strength and conditioning, the nutrition. So they, they, are, they are, if you like, training as professionals. The only addition to what they do as professionals is the education bit. So all these guys you see, they train every week, every day throughout the week, unless it's a Wednesday when, on game days. So the training, they're doing different specific training, uh, which will be, um, we look at sort of the s and Cs on Mondays and Fridays, then we build into that the skill sessions on Tuesdays, team runs, Thursdays recovery, um, but also we have classroom sessions which are analysis sessions, as well as nutrition, making sure they're eating the right things uh, and various other things like that. So, so from that point of view, they're the best prepared that we can have. It just goes to show that if you look at the number of players that have gone through on to play for Sale Sharks and current players now, you know, with Cliffy Leck, uh, who's played there, Tom Brady, Liam Malek, um, Jennings and, and, and the like, and, and Haley, then, you know, we, 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 we're really proud of that tradition and that, and that link with Sale that we're able to kind of produce those players to go through. We've got a lot of guys playing in National One and Championship as well. So basically when they leave here, they go away with good skills, good strength and communications, and, and they have all the grounding to be able to make it. What they do when they leave is, you know, is entirely up to them, but we, we give them the tools, and it's, it's how they use them, really. So I'm really proud of how we put people through to play national. It's very, very rarely that we get guys who just drop out and don't do anything. We've got three guys this year all going off to Durham University as well, which is exceptional for us. Um, so we're really proud of that. Uh, we've got two guys who are currently playing international rugby as well with Adam Brocklebank. He's, uh, he's played England schools and clubs and he's basically come from nowhere. He wasn't even, even involved in Lancashire before he actually came to us. So we've helped build him. I mean, he's had a desire as well and it takes that desire for that person, that individual. Uh, all we do is just facilitate that and it's a great job to, to work in. Adam, thanks very much for joining us. My squad captain. Cheers. You obviously you're going to Durham, you yeah. played for England and you said yeah, I haven't played county before you got here to MySco. How has your time at MySco helped you and prepared you for a career in the game? Hopefully getting a, get my grades to go up to Durham University. Um, I've got a scholarship up there, so that's where I'm heading. At the end of my two years at MySco has been a great experience. Like I couldn't have thought of a better place, just the lads, the coaches, just one big family.